Hey guys, this is Hunter. I wanted to take just a couple of minutes to share something that I find incredibly helpful. It's coming up with a lot of the people that I work with. You know, I work with a lot of healers and a lot of leaders uh, and a lot of counselors and coaches right now who are telling me that it's taking more and more replenishment, rest, renewal, going offline, taking care of themselves. It's taking a lot more just to show up in the ways that they've always had to show up, if they're able to at all. And they're judging themselves and feeling like they don't, like they can't do what they used to do. And they're not sure why they don't have the energy after all. You know, they're not doing as much. They're, they're having more time to rest. They're, they don't have the client loads they had. And yet it's taking everything out of them to do a lot less. And they're wondering why this is. You know, I could talk about how we're all activated all the time, just dealing with all the stressors of the situation that we're living in right now. But what feels more important right now is to share a metaphor that I found incredibly helpful, which is that we're learning to walk. You know, if you think about a small child that is crawling around the room, if you've ever been around crawling children, you know that a crawling child can move incredibly fast. They can zip from one side of the room to another. If an adult just looks up for half a second, you know, they're over there playing, they're having a good time. You look away for just half an instant and suddenly your child's on the other side of the room getting into something dangerous. They are master crawlers. But then there comes a time when that child begins to try standing up on two legs. And something amazing happens when they stand up on two legs, which is that they slow way down. They fall over a lot. It's stressful, it's exhausting, it's tiring. They're not quite sure what they're doing. Now, if that child was to hit that point and say to themselves, ah, oh, this is awful, this walking stuff. I'm going to go back to crawling because I could move much faster. It was much easier. I had that down. And now suddenly I'm moving so slowly and awkwardly and I'm falling all the time. That child might just go back to crawling and give up on the whole walking project. Except that a child can look up and see that others are walking and that walking seems to work for them. In fact, walking opens up a whole new avenue of possibilities in life that crawling simply is not going to give you. Well, we don't have a lot of people, honestly, around us who are good at walking right now. You could maybe think of a few, uh, the Dalai Lama, you know, or, or some other heroic figure that you see functioning really well in this time. And they're probably not actually, you know, you're comparing yourself to their PR and their PR may not be the whole picture. But we don't have a lot of people who are great at walking right now. All we have is this experience of finding ourselves struggling just to move forward in a world that is unfamiliar and changing and finding that the things that used to come easily come really hard right now. And we get scared that it's always going to be that way, that something's wrong with us, that we're failing in some way as healers or teachers or leaders or coaches but we're not failing. We're learning to move in the world in a different way. And learning to move in the world in a different way, like learning to walk, means we have to slow down. It means we have to develop new skills for taking care of ourselves, for staying balanced, for moving forward, for relating to other people in the world, because now we're standing up on two legs. There's so much to learn and so much that we need in order to walk instead of to crawl. So right now, if you find yourself exhausted and worn out and unable to function, and that the smallest things seem to take a lot, don't worry, it's not going to always be like that. You're not failing, you're not broken, you're not a bad healer, nothing's wrong. You're just learning how to do something new. And it's important to slow down when that happens to give yourself a break and let your strength grow, to find your legs under you, 
and to reach out for the support that is around you to steady yourself. You will learn to walk, you will learn to run, and you will learn to dance. Just be patient and kind. <laughs>